Are you like me? Are you sick and tired of waiting for the start button to return in Windows 8? I mean, I thought for sure it'd be back with Windows 8.1. In fact, Microsoft even teased us with a look at a new and improved start menu at a recent developers conference. I guess we're going to have to wait for Windows 9 for our start button back? Well, in this micro nugget, we'll take a look at what PC World and other periodicals call the awesome return of the start button. All right, what I have done here is I've just spun up an evaluation copy of Windows 8.1 as a virtual machine inside a server 2012 Hyper-V environment. I don't want to experiment with this on my main nugget to go Windows 8.1 Cintiq companion because that is a very, very important machine to me for making CBT nuggets and I don't want to experiment with any software. So I've got a VM for this experimentation. I believe the company that PC World was raving about is called Stardock. Stardock has a couple of pieces of software that are designed to really dramatically improve the Windows 8 interface. The one we're going to focus on right now is this Start 8, which brings back the Start button, or the classic Start menu, as it is often called. Let's go ahead and download the evaluation version of this particular software. Notice that if we pay a little bit of money, uh, we can get the full version and pay a little bit more money and you get all these additional software packages that they feature. But for right now, we'd be fine with just trying the 30-day free trial of Start 8. So I'll go ahead and download this and then we'll run through the install. By the way, while that's downloading, let me just point out a couple of quick things here. I have gone to this Windows 8.1 machine and I've gone into the properties for navigation and I have said, look, when I sign in, go to the desktop instead of start. So understand that we have already made a key optimization to this machine for a mouse. If it's not a touch screen, I don't want to go to this screen when I launch the machine. I want to go instead to the desktop. And that is an easy setting to make under properties here of taskbar navigation going to the navigation tab. So when I start or close all apps on a screen, go to the desktop instead of start. Pretty cool feature. All right, now we're bringing back the start button or start menu thanks to this start eight app. Let's check it out. So here I've launched the installation. We are going to agree to the license agreement. Modern Mix, let's see, would you like to also install Modern Mix free trial? Run Windows 8 modern applications in resizable windows on your desktop. This is something else that PC World was just raving about. So you can take those new applications designed for Windows 8 touch interfaces and you can run them in Windows. This is in, you know, resizable Windows. This is something we will demonstrate in an upcoming micro nugget. That is something else interesting and worth checking out. All right, so here we go. We'll accept the default location for Start 8 from Stardock. We can see it's a very quick installation. And what's happening? I think I just saw something flash up regarding our PC restarting. Wow. So, uh, okay, let's start the 30-day trial. And we'll enter our dummy email address. <laughs> Sorry, Start 8 Company. All right. So that's going to start the trial, entering our email address. Ah, and they've sent a verification email with an activate link before we can proceed. So let me, in the background, take care of that. And then uh, I'll return here for you to see the remainder of this installation. All right, so that did indeed go smoothly, and I'm glad they gave me the tip on my spam folder because that's exactly where that activation email lived, as you might guess. That was picked up as spam by Gmail. But anyways, clicked on the activation link. That went smoothly, so I'm going to go ahead and click continue, and it says, hey, your trial has been activated, and look at that. Lower left corner, I noticed there is definitely an icon change. 
Okay, which style of start menu would you prefer? Uh, oh, that's hilarious. Do we want the Windows 8 style? No, no, I think I'm going to stick with the Windows 7 style. That's why I grabbed your product. The default theme designed to match the square edges of Windows 8 or default theme with black edges, rounded Windows 7. <laughs> that's so funny. Inspired by Windows 7. You know, I'm going to go actually with the square edges to match Windows 8. I mean, I don't want to throw myself into a complete fit here by melding those operating systems. Disable menu translucency. All right. Uh, I can choose a particular color. Uh, gosh, I'm not going to pick a color. I could care less. What should the start button look like? Default. All right. So that's all good. Uh, on the configure option here, Look at, we have a bunch of configuration options here with shortcuts that we can display on the right-hand side. Pretty cool. Uh, what should happen when you're on the desktop? What should happen when you're in the modern UI app? The desktop settings. So a lot of options here. We'll just go ahead and kind of stick with the default on everything and we'll see what results. So I'm going to go ahead and close the Stardock start eight configuration window and <laughs> this would be a great point for my drum roll sound effect blah, 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 blah. oh that was terrible i'm gonna go down and i'm gonna click this new button ah oh, look at that i like it it is very much a windows 7 start button thing going on here now by the way i don't obviously have much installed in this particular virtual machine for Windows, so that's why we don't see much here, but notice the all programs, administrative tools, for instance, this has such a friendly familiarity to it. I really, really like it. So there it is, the Start 8 application from Stardock, pretty impressive. Now, if we wanna reconfigure that, I right click that particular icon and go configure start eight, and we can start tweaking the particular settings of this application. Well, I sure hope this micro nugget has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.